What's up, everybody? I'm back today. I'm going to talk to you about my high school manual recommendations. They are all set in high school. I got a diverse amount of genres. There's romance, action, drama, and martial arts. So I hope you like it. If you do, please like and subscribe. Number one is The Breaker. This is a story about a new English teacher, Jun Woo, who is not your ordinary teacher. The MC is a victim of constant bullying, and he unexpectedly witnessed Jun Woo's fighting power and begged him to make him his disciple. Jun claims he can teach the MC if he truly is determined. The MC must jump off a bridge into a deep river in order to prove it to him. It turns out, however, that the MC and his powers are more than meets the eye. The MC makes a grand entrance into the hidden world of martial arts and is about to be taught by the best there is. The manga is actually a series of three. The first two are completed, but the third one is still ongoing and in color. The art is absolutely amazing. I honestly think it's up to par with solo leveling. It has a beautiful story about a master and his disciple. The first manga has 72 chapters. There's also the Break of New Waves, which is the continuation and has over 300 chapters. Last but not least, there's also Break of Eternal Force. It has 22 chapters and is still ongoing and is in color. The story is honestly very engaging and the best aspect is the characters. This is the only manga on the list that made me tear up for the characters and I highly recommend you read it. Number two says dice. Whether it's appearances, grades, or social life, the MC is at the bottom of the barrel. A popular student, Torbian, I think that's how you say it, I'm horrible at fucking names, gives him an opportunity to change all of that. The MC heads down a path to make things right in this world. The thing I like about this MC the most is that he knows how cool the world can be and he wants to genuinely change them. And I feel like with a lot of these characters, you can really relate to them, as in they're normal people, they're not over the top, they, they know what they're doing. This is in a fantasy world where you have dice and if you get hold of a dice and roll it, it gives you special powers, you can become handsome, you can become taller, you can become buff, you can become wealthy, all of this. And he ends up fighting with, I forgot his, I can't say his name, with the dude who, uh, who, who transferred over to his school. And he ends up taking the dice from him and accidentally rolling it. He gets a, uh, a text on his phone pretty much saying he's become a dicer. And the way to get more dice is to do quests. And if you get more dice, you have more options to get powers. It's kind of like abilities and skill points and uh solo leveling yeah this is very kind of this is really similar to solo leveling but it's also different enough where you can enjoy it this has like i want to say a little bit over 300 chapters so this is definitely something you can binge read at a time and honestly i highly recommend this the art's okay it's not shitty or anything but it's also not extremely incredible so yeah i recommend it you should read it but number three we have one breaker this is an absolute classic. It's been out for 10 years. Pretty much Jay DMC. He's a perfect student. He has straight A's and is a student body president. But after being coerced into joining a cycling team, the Hummingbird Crew, he discovers a whole new world outside of study. As time goes on, he begins to learn how to change. He learns to make more friends. But unfortunately, there's problems that lead down the road. The story's really good and honestly, it's a classic. This is a sports story about cycling. The whole premise is that they have a cycling competition and there's an incredible prize. This is still going ongoing and honestly i wasn't expecting that but it's honestly very good the story's incredible um each character is very fleshed out more than i thought they would be and um i don't know if you noticed but like <laughs> the art's incredible i highly recommend it if you're into cycling or into any type of sports i definitely recommend it for number four we have mercenary roman the mc was a solo survivor of a plane crash when he was little he had to become a mercenary he survived for 10 years and eventually he returns to his family and his hometown. This manga has an okay story, but the hype's incredible. In my opinion, the hype's up there with solo level. The MC knows how to fight and is extremely skilled at it. And after coming home, he gets into fights with gangsters, bullies, bodyguards, and very important people. All he wants is just the freedom and his family safety. But his past is getting in the way of protecting his family. The art is okay, but it has 99 chapters and it's still ongoing. So for anybody that wants to pass the time, I recommend you read this. For number 5, we have Reality Quest. The MC is a shut-in who is very good at playing video games. But unlike other Manu, he's not the heroic figure. He's a very weak, scrawny individual trying to get by by playing a game shuttle. He gets forced into playing games by bullies in order to get the rare items for the games. One day, he overworks 
overworked himself and ends up in the middle of class. He realizes he went back a week and he sees a cheat system in the front of his head and that's where his new life began of tormenting the bullies that tormented him. I highly recommend this manhwa, it's just a really fun read. For number 6 we have Lookism. The MC who is a very ugly person finally gets the courage to transfer after being bullied in his original school. He then discovers that he has two very different bodies, one is his original ugly body and the other is a handsome body. This has a bunch of chapters you could honestly binge read it, there's over 400 plus chapters as of right now. This is also on webtoon if you want to read it. It is a very battle heavy story set in high school, but all the high schoolers pretty much look like adults and the scenarios are pretty adult like. To be honest though the plot is all over the place so I recommend this for people who like no thanking battle heavy manhwa. Um, the art is incredible though it's really beautiful and some places it, it kind of dips but as of right now it came back at least uh, quality wise so yeah I definitely recommend this for people who hasn't read this before. For number 7 we have Bad Boy. The MC is the kind of guy who has strived to make himself into his precious ideal type for over 10 years but one day she says she likes bad boys and from today onwards he is determined to be reborn as a bad boy. This manhwa is actually a pretty fun read. At the start the MC is kind of a simp but over time he becomes more of a chad. His character development is insane. He was born in a family of gangsters and he lives with his uncles. They teach him how to become a more dangerous man and the dynamic between his uncles and him are hilarious. They're extremely overprotective so it leads to funny moments. The art is good. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. It definitely could be better in some moments but overall it's not unreadable. This is half shown and half comedy. It has a little bit of romance in it. It has over 100 chapters, so if you're trying to find a good story to read, I recommend this one. For number 8, we have My School Life Pretending to be a Worthless Person. Park Jin Sung, the main character, possessed an F rank soul and an F rank combat power. After the introduction of a poor military program to his high school and the Ida rank system, Park Jin Sung became one of the weak and suffered under his peers' contempt for 10 years. However, in reality, the Ida and he had awakened was actually an S rank, an absolute killing. Attempt. Park Jun Sung was greatly disturbed by the fact that the essence of his soul revolved around the thought of killing others and continued to live his life while thinking of himself as a worthless effering. This manual has a military high school setting, so it's unique in that. It's still very new, but it's promising. The art is good, but very basic. There are 22 chapters at the time of this recording. It has the cliche plot of the MC hiding his power. It's been a very good read so far, and I honestly recommend it to anybody. For number 9, we have the girl from the random chatting. If you lived through or are still living through high school, you can relate to Junwoo, the MC. An outcast and a loner, his only joy comes from the hours he spends on his phone, randomly chatting with strangers. It's all weird and meaningless listen until Jun Moo strikes gold as he matched in a private chat with a pretty young girl his age. But when he discovers that the same pretty girl is actually his classmate, Sing Ra, things get a little too real for a guy who has never even remotely been kissed. This has over 250 chapters as of this recording, so this is another one you can binge. This is mostly romance and honestly the MC is a simp. There's no sugar coating it, he is a big simp, but it gets incredibly better over time and I don't want to spoil you, but something big happens and it's a big change for the MC. That's all I'm gonna to say. At first I didn't like it, it was slow, but over time you just can't stop reading it. This is a really good romance, so that's why I recommend it. For number 10, we have Elisid, Caden, a mysterious ability user who hides inside the body of a street cat. He is later picked up by Jiwoo, the MC, after being injured after a fight with another ability user. He has a stubborn and bossy personality. Jiwoo, an energetic and talkative high school boy who loves cats. He's a very kind and also seems to have a special ability. This has around 200 plus chapters. The art is great. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. The MC has a speed ability, which Caden shows him how to use. This has a master and disciple story to it. They also kind of look like each other. Caden's pretty much a carbon copy of the uh, master and the breaker. So if you like the breaker, then you most likely like this manual, so that's why I recommend it. So yeah, so that's pretty much the end of the video. Um, Please like and subscribe and uh, some of y'all may know the manual on here. I wanted to pick from like known and unknown um, if you have any more suggestions, put them down in the comment. I'll read them. Um, some of these manhwas were just extremely underrated. And I haven't seen a lot of like people talking about them. So I just wanted to like bring them out there. And there was also a couple that a lot of people actually don't know about. And I wanted to put them out there. I'm going to start posting more about anime, manhwa, manga. Pretty much anything in the anime culture. I don't know if y'all noticed, but midway through my mic got significantly better. That's because I actually bought a mic midway through. It won't have that trash quality no more. So it should sound a lot better. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video.